Dechlorinating Tap Water, Easy and Effective Methods. Hello, and welcome. In today's video, we'll be talking about how to remove chlorine from boiled tap water. Whether you're sensitive to the taste, are using the water for a sensitive aquarium environment, or are interested in gardening applications, knowing how to dechlorinate water can be incredibly useful. Why remove chlorine from water? Chlorine is commonly used in municipal water supplies to kill bacteria and other microbes. However, it can impart a distinct taste to the water and is harmful to some living organisms. Therefore, removing chlorine becomes necessary for specific applications, such as fish keeping and brewing. What are the methods to remove chlorine? Here are the most common methods to dechlorinate water. 1. Boiling boiling is a simple method to remove chlorine. Bring the water to a rolling boil and keep it there for about 15 to 20 minutes. This method works because chlorine is a volatile compound, and its gaseous form easily escapes into the air at high temperatures. However, this method is time-consuming and may not be practical for large volumes of water. 2. Standing Another method to remove chlorine is to let the water stand uncovered. Chlorine, being a gas at room temperature, will naturally evaporate out of the water over time. For this method, let the water stand for approximately 24 hours. 3. Chemical dechlorination chemical methods can also be used, most commonly sodium thiosulfate or ascorbic acid, vitamin C. These compounds neutralize chlorine. Make sure to follow instructions for these methods carefully, as the correct dosage is important. 4. Activated charcoal activated charcoal filters, also known as carbon filters, are effective in removing chlorine. The activated charcoal attracts and bonds with the chlorine, removing it from the water. How to choose the right method? Choosing the right method depends on your needs, the volume of water, and how quickly you need it dechlorinated. For smaller volumes or less frequent needs, boiling or standing may suffice. For larger volumes or more regular requirements, you may want to consider chemical dechlorination or a charcoal filter. And that's it for today's video. We hope you now have a better understanding of how to remove chlorine from boiled tap water. Remember to choose the method that best suits your needs. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.